Okay, so the evolution of castles. We're gonna be reading Mommy and Jeremiah today. Life was no fairy tale in the ninth century France. Invaders terrorized the countryside. Vikings sailed swift long walls up rivers to pillage villages. Fed up with these raiders, warlords built wooden forts to surround their homes and serve as havens for the local farmers. These first castles spread across Europe and evolved into the towering stone structures we know today. Here's how castles changed over their 500 year reign. Number one, the Mott and Bailey Castle. That's the one to the far left here. This early castle type looked more like a pioneer fort. A moat and timber fence enclosed a bailey or courtyard in which a wooden keep sat atop a, a artificial hill called a moat. Lords could build moat and bailey castles quickly to take control of new land. So that's simple enough. They just build their home on top of the hill and they have water running around it. The next number two is the stone keep. The timber castles had one major flaw. Attackers could burn them to the ground. In the 10th, in the 10th and 11th centuries, lords constructed massive keeps with thick stone walls. Keeps took years to build and were expensive to build. Were expensive. Why is they, so big? What? Which one? How do they build it? This. How do they build it? Yeah. They need a lot of people. But they were towering symbols of a lord's power. So the bigger it is, it means you're more. We're very powerful. Number three is the concentric castle. Considered the ultimate in defensive design, a concentric castle consisted of a courtyard ringed by several stone walls with the keep and living areas built into the towers of the inner walls. So they lived there too. Archers and crossbowmen, so they try to shoot arrows up on these inner walls, could shoot over the heads of defenders on the outer walls, doubling the castle's power so they have people up there and down here shooting down at their enemies, at the mean people. Uh, so where were we? The, the only way to capture such castles was to wage long bloody battles called sieges or through trickery. So they have to fight for a very long time in order to get inside these castles. Number four, the palace castle. Wow, <laughs> this looks nice to live in and it's safe. Once armies added gunpowder and cannon to their arsenals in the 14th century, castle walls didn't stand a chance. Kings moved into grand palaces and left the defense of their realms to squat thick-walled fortresses. Palaces still featured classic castle features such as walls and towers, but only out of a sense of tradition and as a sign of noble wealth. Mm -hmm. The, this one's not for bricks, and this one's not bricks, and this one's not bricks. Only this one's bricks. Yeah, this one looks like bricks, but these ones have cement on, on it, so it doesn't yeah, look this, like bricks. Yeah, this is cement too, mm -hmm. and this is cement. Mm -hmm. That's wood. That's more like wood. Yeah, this is bricks. So this is the timeline. So this is a long time ago, and this is near to now. So in 500, see the number 500 AD, the Middle Ages began. At 600, Britain's legendary King Arthur built Camelot. Mom. Um, what? You okay? It's his roots. Okay. It'll go away. And then we go to the 800s. Mott and Bailey Castle start appearing in France. 1066, William the Conqueror invades England, building hundreds of Mott and Bailey Castles as he goes. 1095, European knights traveled to the Middle East to wage a series of holy wars known as the Crusades. The knights admired the concentric defenses of Muslim fortifications and bring the idea home. And they copy this from the Muslims. 1268, Carefilly Castle, one of the first concentric castles in Europe, is built in Wales. 1337, England and France began the Hundred Years' War. 
many castles were besieged. And in 1346, cannon are first used in combat. In 1348, a horrific plague known as the Black Death sweeps Europe, killing many people in castles. And in 1600s, European becomes a safer, more stable place, and cannon have made castle defenses obsolete. The age of castles draws to an end. So, so no, we don't have any more mean people, so they don't need castles anymore. King of the Castles, when England's Edward I launched his campaign to subdue Wales in 1277, he knew castles would be his key to victory. In just 12 years, he built four of the world's most impressive castles. Using concentric architecture and other defensive techniques, he had seen a, as a warrior in the Crusades. So he did go to the Crusades and learn to copy the Muslims.